Hi everyone. Um, right, you did want me to show you how to make the vanity unit, the ladies dresser. Um, and so I've decided to do that. Um, what you need, I'm using the foam board but you can use chipboard. So, you need, out of a whole sheet, you can get the front and two sides. Um, so, you're going to need... This is a whole sheet, A4 size. Everybody knows what an A4 size is. Um, it's 21 centimetres across. Sorry, 21 centimetres. Yeah, it is. It's 21 centimetres across. Is that right? Let me just make sure I got that right. Yes, it is. Um, and then it'll be, the total will be, it's 29 centimetres that way. So what you do is you cut two off at seven centimetres. So you need two pieces off of an A4 sheet at 7 centimetres and that's the way you're going to turn it round clockwise once and that's going to be the back of your unit and this is going to be the sides. Now the sides do have to be shaped as well but that's what you're going to need to start with and um, we do that before we do anything else with it. Uh, we're also going to cover them and I'm using this uh, elegance paper. This is by, Re Re is it Recollections, I think? It feels a bit thick, that one. But So we're going to use that. It's the brown spotty one. Um, and at, first of all, I'm just going to cut the pattern. And now I'm using the Tim Holtz die. Let me just get that for you. Not sure if you can see it. Mine's that. I haven't cleaned the spokes out yet, the bits. But it's the... Um, Doily one. Put my handle on. You need to get it as straight as possible. This cuts the width of your die. See, like that. So that's a, a nice fit. Pull my chair back. So we're nice and just add the dogs out a little bit. So we're just going to take all these bits out. Since Lucky can't exercise properly anymore, we just walk him. Vet said he'll be about 18 months old before he can exercise, so he has to go swimming every week. So that's what we're going to do with him, take him swimming to the Hydra place. Yeah. Just take all it, because I had to run it through again, didn't I? So just take them extra bits out. I mean, you can do any pattern. You don't have to do this particular one. I flicked a bit, went straight down my top. I know some of you comment that uh, you can hear me breathing. Uh, can I just make it clear? It's because I'm very, very close to the camera. It's not because I've got a problem breathing. I just wanted you to know that because some people think I'm uh, breathing difficulties. I've not. I did have. That was at Christmas, but not no more. It's because I am very close to... Oh, this is not cut properly. Uh, very close to the uh, camera. Just going to make sure this is tidy, like that. You can't help that back bit there. That'll do. That's tidy that up. That's fine. I was going to see the back anyway. But there you go. It's the neatest I can get it right now. And I'm just showing you how to do this. Okay, okay. so we just discard those bits. And I'm keeping it on here, on the uh, my mucky board, because I have to do a lot of cutting and I'm not going to keep cutting through my card. So I use this until it won't cut no more. And there we go. Like that. So there's the back piece, okay? I know it's got the writing on, but that doesn't matter. 
But now what we need to do is we're going to cut the paper. Now, as you can see, I'm going to do it that way. Okay, we will measure... Because what we're going to do is to gauge. We're just going to gauge this circle. So I'm just going to just do the line like that. That's to get that. Okay. And we're going to cut inside of that. So just follow it with your pencil. Like that. And then use your ruler with the two ends you've drawn here. So you've drawn that there and that there. Just use your ruler to go over that. And then what we're going to do is just simply cut that out. You can trim it down. It's better to do it bigger than what you need. Okay, and then just bring that in. So here's our piece. Uh, I have done it slightly bigger than needed, but that's fine. So let me get this right. I want it so that there is a, a slight gap there. So that one's not brought down enough. Oops, it is. Oh God, pencil going everywhere. Let's just see and bring that down like that, that's fine. And I can trim all the bits off afterwards once we've got that glued on. Uh, and to glue that on I'm just going to use a Mod Podge. Okay, we're going to put trimming on there, so that's fine, okay, so you're not going to see that. That's perfect, that's all we need to start with. Next we're going to need are the two side pieces. Now, I do need to shape them. I rounded mine off, um, and the way I did that was just to, let me just get this. Oh, it's not big enough, what did I use? Uh we'll use this. There's my little jam pot. What we're going to do is, because you need both sides matching, don't you? So we just take this, I hope you can see this. Um, and I'm going to start when I get the two, slot that into the corner. So when it, the, it's at the side there and there, that's good enough. And all we do is we round that off. That's for that one. Take, well, I'm, I'm not going to put that on top of that and do it again because sometimes that doesn't work. But like that. I'm going to just cut it and you've got your side rounded. And the only thing, problem I find with this is it can be extremely difficult to cut unless you've got a sharp knife, which I don't have at the moment. I don't know where my knives are. I can't find any of them. Let me just... Because I want, really wanted to do a different shape. I wanted to bring that in slightly and do it that way. <coughs> I 
I'm going to. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to... I'll do it like this. And just slope it back up and over. That's better. Much better. like it like that. Okay, so we're just going to do that. Trim that bit off. Like that. Okay, so there we are, we've got matching side panels. And then what you do, we're going to cover these. Now we're going to cover them on the inside as well. So we take that like that, take the first piece that you got. Uh, and we're not going to waste that panel bit there, so I am going to. Am I? Will that fit? Yeah, that'll fit. I'm just going to take hold of this um, and glue that on. Right, so that's the two sides done. The back panel we can cover later. Um, now we're going to just put those two pieces together. So I'm going to wash the brush so that it's, uh, it doesn't dry on me. Put the lid on the glue, otherwise I may knock it over. And we take this. Okay. And it's so... Um, we need to cut this down. That's what, sorry, I forgot to do that. We now need to cut this down. So what we're doing is we're going to measure. <clears throat> you have to have it along that edge there. Can you see that? Yeah. Uh, and then you cut this bit off. Don't worry about that because that's your door. So you're not wasting anything. So just mark that. Okay, so we'll just pop that on there. Make sure that's straight there. Just so that I can... Like that, <clears throat> and just cut straight across. Okay, so that's that section there, and that stands there. Same on this side, and it's only to make sure that they are exactly the same. Um, and that's just to make sure you have got. I just do it like that. You can do it how you want. I'm just a funny way I work. But there you've got your doors, okay? Which you can have that way. So what we're going to do now is glue this on. And you just run the glue. Up the spine. They're both the same. Pop them on and I just sit them on the edge, not quite on the edge, and then flip that over. Like that. Move that to the edge. Run your finger down so it collects all the excess glue. And press it down because with this foam board you do need to press it down. Don't worry about any of the um, glue. Being on the paper, that will rub off. Okay, turn that around. I mean, how simple can you get? Not quite to the edge. Right. 
There we go. Like I said, just rub that off. It comes off the paper, don't worry. And it comes off the foam. Like that. Okay, now your innards will push them sides out and hold it tight, so don't worry about them at all. Okay, now, <laughs> see? That's the shell. Now what we need to do is we need to put the drawers in, uh, the shelf in. So what I'm going to do with that, don't forget we do need to uh, paper those as well. So I've just get, I thought I had a bit more board, what did I do with it? don't know, there we are, I've got some here. Um, you need to measure this and it's the inside, they're going on the inside remember. So your shelf should be, sorry, um, 14 and a quarter. But just cut a piece and, and just fit it by hand like I do. So I'm going to take an A4 sheet, take the ruler, and I want my shelves. They've got, I mean, this one is what wide? Uh, seven and a half wide. So I'm going to do mine at six. Right? So I'm just going to measure three shelves out. So we need 18 centimetres in total. Um, one, two, three again do it from this end and then just cut them And there's my shelving. <clears throat> now what we're going to do is, um, we need to, we're going to have one there for the top section where everything will be displayed on. Now I don't know whether I'm going to do, no I'm going to do, that's the bottom section. The other one we'll do um, a little bit wider. We're going to do a little bit wider, which will need to be the full width of that to be honest. Right, okay. Just cut a section off and... If it fits, it fits. Take about another inch off. Uh, that should be wide enough for what I need. And then all you need to do then is measure that. What do we say that was? 14 and a quarter. So each piece has to be 14 and a quarter. Like that. So that two needs to be 14 and a quarter. That one also 14 and a quarter. So you need three shelves at 14 and a quarter and one shelf wider, one of the three shelves wider. than the others. So I've done mine six centimetres apart, uh, wide, and you're going to need one at seven. Fourteen and a quarter. Okay, so I'm just going to cut these. So that's one, two, Three, and this is the wider one for the top. And that's the first one we're going to fit in. Oops. Hang on, need to glue that a bit. Let me just make sure that's glued. Yeah, it is now. <coughs> I 
Right, so that is going to push that back in, fit in like that. Now it depends where you actually want that. I'm going to have to shape mine off a little bit. Let me just see, why did I do that? What width did I do it? Oh, I should have been seven. Okay. I'm going to gauge mine. So, what you need is one at seven centimetres across by 14 and a half, and the rest are six centimetres across by 14 and a half. Okay? And depending on how many you need, uh, how many shells you want putting in. So, the top one is this. So, I am going to have mine roughly that deep, because I do want to fit things on my unit. So... That will go there, then I want a sh oops. Alright. That's I would do it with a level of this where this just starts to curve, to be honest. So you're gonna do one there, I'm gonna do one there, and one there. Yeah, that's perfect. See? And look how easy you just do three shelves. We're not going to put the fourth one in. I don't want the fourth one in. Um, three shelves, two doors, a back and two sides. And all you have to do is put it together. You can do it. My granddaughters could do this. Come on, girls. And folks, you know, gents. Okie dokie. So now we're going to put that one in. I'm going to move that down slightly. Now, the way I did mine was put the first one in, the top one. It's easier to work downwards. So I just move mine down slightly because I've got the spots on the paper. I can use them as my guide for where I want to glue. That fits that shelf perfect. Hold that tight. Take your glue gun and glue it in. Sorry about that. The camera ran out. Now what we've done now is I've set in the third shelf, the bottom shelf. Um, and this is where the drawers, uh, the uh, doors come in handy. And the piece you cut off. Why have I got one slightly? But I'm just going to measure these and trim one off. Don't know how I got one a little bit bigger than the other. Okay, but uh, what you do is these fit perfect there. Now I've just cut that, haven't I? <laughs> Oh, I'm sure it's something to do with the doors, uh, with the uh, material I'm using. Right, I'll try again. There, your doors fit perfect on there. So you're not wasting any material at all. Now, I put my doors on here before, but you can just as easily put them on there. And what you need is a piece of cardstock. Something durable that will, you know, stand it uh, if people want to go in and have a look at it being you know if people want to open the doors constantly it's going to wear on it eventually so i'm just going to use about an inch wide you need two pieces fold one in half um and you can paint over this or you can cover it it doesn't matter and what you're going to do is this is the inside of the door okay so you pop a little bit of glue there and you set that like that, just to the edge. It just has to be to the edge. Okay. So that fits. Take the other one, do exactly the same with that one. So there's the door. Flip it over because that, ha that has to go there like a hinge. Like that. And it has to fit to the edge. And then what you do is you glue this section, this little flap, on the inside of the unit. So, remove the other one. Pop your door on, get it into position. So I'm having mine flush, flush with the, the top of the drawer there. The, lift that up and just press on that bit of card inside like that now it's up to you I mean I wouldn't have it any difference of that 
let me just say yeah and you can still open it and put your bits inside mine opens too far actually but that is a better fit so then you've got this one to do so you're going to need to fit don't forget they've got to be the same level so open that lift that slightly and fix that it is a bit tricky but it does work I'm just going to what I'm going to do is my shelf underneath I just need to a little bit more glue underneath like that uh, and there you go you've got your doors and that's how you do your unit it's uh, not hard let me just push that in it's not in enough I didn't quite get that in there I'm just going to drip some glue in oops just push hard on that inside So make sure it goes in right. That's on. Sit that in and that'll push that against that. And there you go, you've got your doors. Like that, and they will open. And there's your unit. So all you now have to do is to cover your tops. Uh, and I think, if I remember, what did we say? It was 14... So I'm only going to do 14 by 6.5 because I want to put some trim in. And then I just need the same piece in there as well. Um, so we just cut another amount. Okay, we just lob quite a bit on there just because um, it's the bottom shelf and it's going to be a little bit hard to get in there. 
See, how we cover the front and side, the back and sides, is how we really should have covered the shelves. Covered them all first. I would do that. If, that would be my suggestion. Cover everything first before you put it together. It would make it easier, to be honest. Now, I'm just going to push that in like that. And then slot that where it's supposed to be in the position. That's it, that's fine. That's done what I want it to do. Yeah, there. And I can quite easily put things in there. Just open that door and slot them in. But there you go, that's a, a dresser. So what I'm going to do now is... Now I use these, which are the... These are not actually Tim Holtz. I found these online. Um, I know they look like Tim Holtz, but they're not. You can buy them online and they're cheaper, to be honest. Sorry, Tim, but there you go. A lot cheaper. <laughs> well, you've got to save pennies where you can. You know, we're not all made of money. Well, they might think we are. Joey, shush a minute, darling. I know it's Joey, I can tell his voice. Okay, so all I did for this is I took. Sorry, just let me go sort to Joey out. You can do the back as well. Just see if we've got enough. And I would only do it up to the pattern, to be honest. So I would probably just trim off. That, leaving a, a gap. And then just trim. That there. And you know what? That's just right. That's perfect to sit there. And that's all I'm going to do. But I'm going to glue this on this time, bit by bit. <laughs> But that's your unit, so you need to cut the back panel first, do your shape, get that how you want it, cut the sides for the width that you want your unit, um, the back and the two sides come out of the A4, take another A4 sheet and you just need to get your insides and what you cut off the, off the section here, you should, if you put your um, shelves in properly, you should be able to use them for doors. And that's it, that's how you do your unit. What we're going to do now is we're going to put some little trinkets in the uh, box. Uh, now I've done a bag, I will show you. I can't get it out because it's glued in. But I've made a little handbag. Because this lady, or you know, this girl, she needs different handbags. So I'm going to show you how to make that particular handbag. Very simple. You need a piece of card. And you can do these any size you want. But make, you know, you need them to fit in with the... Um, whole unit so the sizing I mean I've cut mine it's about an inch wide strip um I don't want them as long as that I'm going to cut that off you can cut these as, as wider as like I say you've got to get the sizing right for the unit so that measures an inch that way and an inch and a half that way so it's one by one and a half inches you need two pieces then what I do is I'm just going to round off you can use something if you're not confident at this, but I just do it. <laughs> Doesn't mean to say I'm right, but there you go. So I'm just going to pop that back on top of that one. Get the scissors. Follow the line round that I've done. Like that. And what you do have to make sure is that you've no edges, you know, like corners. So make sure it's smooth like that. Just make sure that that is actually level. Yeah, it's just taking off the uh, 
because the card you're going to fit on has to fit. Now you need a piece of card, any will do, whatever you want to use because it's all going to get covered anyway, but it needs to be firm. So I'm just going to cut, I mean this was an A4 sheet and I just keep cutting at it and cutting at it. So just cut yourself, it doesn't have to be straight, you don't have to measure anything at all, you don't want it too wide. I'm only going to do like a centimetre, it's just a handbag to put in the unit. And what you do is you start and you glue. Glue the edge, put this as near the edge as you can, like that. Don't worry if it goes over. See, got it on the edge there. And then just work it round like that. Don't worry about any glue going on it because you're going to cover it. Like that. Take your glue gun and just continue going round. Like that. Move it round. Keep moving it into place. Like that. And then do the last bit. See, things look complicated. They're not. Once you're shown how, they're not. Some people might say, oh, well, if you were a professional uh, miniaturist, you wouldn't do that. Well, stuff the miniaturists. I'm sorry, but... You make things how you want them. It's not how somebody else thinks they should be. It's how you want them to be. Same. I, I say that exactly the same thing with painters. You know, the rule, paint by the rule. What rule? There isn't any rule in painting. You don't have to do it the way they tell you to do it. Or, you know, they teach you to do it. Because as long as you get the end result how you want it, does it matter how it's done? No, does it heck? Sorry to disappoint all you buffs. Right, then, take you've got that section, take your glue gun. My dad was a self-taught artist, uh, painter, um, and he used to paint old masters, and he, they were almost identical copies, and he was never been to an art lesson. So, um, you paint how you want. Slot the next bit in, the, the other side. Just slot it in. Now, I'm also going to cover this one, and uh, any paper will do, it doesn't matter. Um, let me just find some that I can use. Is my girl uh, modern? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> she has a bit of everything anyway. Uh, let me just find some paper girls. will do that side okay so all we're going to do is just cut a piece off okay and all you do is glue one side pop it on I could have moved it to the edge but I didn't cut that now trim it all the way around It's just a quick and easy way to do it. Glue the other side. Like that. I'm not covering the brown paper because I want that like that. I like it. But I would normally just put a piece like that 
and cover it round. I don't want to do it, do it with this one. And then I've got a bit of card. Sorry about that. I've got a little bit of card that I'm going to use for a handle. So I just need to cut some off. Make sure they are both the same. Near enough. And I'm just, because it's quite a strong cord is this one, so I'm just going to, maybe it's too long. Let me just cut that a little bit. Make sure I've got them both roughly the same. Okie dokie, and then what you have to do is you just glue them in. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue on the ends. Turn the bag over and just sit them on. And just you just sit and hold it till it's ready. This is a shopping bag. I mean, you can paint the inside of the bags and that bit. I'm not going to do it because I'm just showing you how to do the bag, how to sit them on and make them. Oops, there is it. Just do that. Sorry if I'm not in shot. Oops, oops, come here. Slipped, I let go. It's the only thing you've not to let go. <laughs> and I let go of that one. Let's put that one back on. Let's keep hold. looks a bit skew with in my bag but it doesn't matter you're not going to see it when it's inside and you've made a little bag so then what I do um because my girl collects bags see <laughs> um and I'm just gonna glue one side at the end like that and I'm just gonna sit my handbag or her handbag should I say in there like that so she's got a, and I'm going to do one more to sit down. Uh, I'll do a little evening bag or something like that, I think. So I'm just going to do that. Now, uh, evening bag, which I think we can just, oh, well, she has to have a little black one, doesn't she? So take a piece of black card, and what we're going to do is make her a clutch bag. So then I'm going to shape the ends like that. And it's just a piece of card, remember. That's about right. And you fold that over. And just make sure that's cut straight. And then we will fold that over again. Like that. Yeah, and then what I'm going to do is just to glue down that bit and that bit. Just glue that down. Um, now, where did I put my chain? It's got a piece of chain. My desk is chocker. I'm going to have to clean up. When I come back from my meal today with my granddaughters and daughter, it's, uh, it's just us four going out. I'm going to clean up because I can't find anything. <laughs> well, it's not that I can't find anything. I can't friggin' move. So just cut yourself a piece of chain, however long you want it. doesn't matter. Okay. And then what we do is we pop a little bit of glue in the crease there and we attach the chain a 
bit more glue in that crease. I mean, you can do these however you want. You can decorate them up however you want. It doesn't matter. But I've got a little clutch bag. Look. Um, and I am just going to put a dob of glue on there. Um, and fasten that down. But then what I'm going to do is take a little flat back pearl. Because this is an evening bag, remember. And I've got a little square one here, which will do perfect. Okay, and we just take that, pop that on, and she's got a little flat back, flat bag, <laughs> she's got a little evening bag. Right, just take that off, hot glue bits everywhere, and there you go, and that, I'm going to, um, yeah, I think I'll just, let me just see, well, we can hang that on one of the hooks so there she's got a little flat back a uh, little flat back, i keep saying it don't I? a little uh, flat handbag evening bag just there now what i'm going to show you is how to do the hooks because they're simple and you only need wire and as long as you've got a decent wire you know the this one is a little bit hard to use but i'm going to show you anyway so you need to cut about two inches. Okay. Um, try and get it as straight as you can. This is a little bit hard to manoeuvre, but we can do it because I've used it for all of mine. Take your round nose pliers. Now curl the end round like you're making a hook, but keep curling it until it rolls back on itself. See, like that. And just keep going. These are... Oh, my tools! <laughs> Use the new ones. Okay, let's just flatten that off. Uh, roll it again. Just roll it round like that. So you've more or less gone round. It's one and a half times, basically. And then you need to lift that up. So I put the pliers like that, and I press down on the back. So you need it like that. Okay. And then take the pliers again, about a centimetre, and press that in again, like that. So you've got that. And then what you do is you snip what you don't want off. And you've got a hook. And that, let me just see, not really any room for it. So, But that's how you make them. And then you glue that and you attach that to the side and you've made your own hooks. And the thing is, why pay? Uh, I think I bought some hooks um, uh, and they were um, five pounds something for six. I nearly died. Make your own. That's all it is, bit of wire. And as long as it's a strong wire and it'll hold any weight, they just glue on. So that's that. That'll have to go in the miniature box now. Okay, so that's how you do that. I've shown you... Um, oh, the rings. I'll show you how to do the rings. Very, very simple, very, very quick. You need a jump ring, okay? So we'll make her another one, another goldy one, I think. So you take your jump ring, you need a bead. Now, let me just find my beads. Um, any, f any spacer will do. Let me find a, oh, here's a little spacer, we'll do that. Look, there's a little flowered spacer. Right, take that, pop that on the side, look, an instant ring. And then you can put a tiny wee pearl, or um, I don't have any tiny, tiny ones, but what I do have um, is a little bit of, let's have a look, glitter, stickles. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give her a little glittery ring. Like that. And you could do them any colour. But she's just having a glittery ring. Uh, and I'm going to add it to the rings that she already has. I'm going to put one here. Okay. 
and just I'm just going to use the pliers to sit it in and there you go and that will dry and be okay just there um, so there you go that's basically how you do them um, and the bags you can do any shape any type any style uh, decorate them up you know you can put laces on you, the basic that's all they are you can make them look stunning um, so we've got a couple of bags in there for it to go out with and to be honest I might seal that I'm going to seal that door I don't like that one um, I do prefer it sealed so I'm going to seal that and if anybody wants to put anything in it they can do can't they there just on the bottom that can be pulled open if they want to but I've sealed that now let me just put this on this hook uh, all the loose jewellery will come with this um, of course and it's going to come as is uh, and that's it ladies and that's all I'm going to do um, and I will be putting it up for sale So there you go. I hope you like that. I think it's turned out fab. Oh, you don't want to see my ugly mug. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye for now.